Hey, did you know that there are actually three ready ways for you to restore files on Office 365's OneDrive, you know, Microsoft OneDrive? Let's show them to you. Uh, the first one's the recycle bin. You probably know that one, but we'll show it very quick. But there's two others that are pretty cool. So the first thing you want to do is surf off to portal.office.com. And yes, you could go to OneDrive.com and actually a few other addresses for that matter and worm your way in. But portal.office.com gets you into the Microsoft Office 365 home where you can get into everything. So I always go to portal.office.com. Enough of that. You get there any way you want. So in my case, I'm going to click the waffle in the top left-hand corner. I personally like to call it the nine dot, but Microsoft calls it the waffle. Click the icon in the top left. Go off to your OneDrive. Here's my files. Now I have my desktop, my documents, and my pictures, which are my photos. I have those all syncing into OneDrive using the OneDrive app. And we have a separate video on that that I'll put up in the top right-hand corner uh, right about now if you're interested in getting that uh, syncing to work with your desktop documents and photos, but that's not the point of this conversation. So how do you restore things? Well, look, the, the first way is just the recycle bin. So if you delete something, so let's go in here, let's delete a file. Let's go to uh, my files. And I actually have no idea what this book one thing is. So let's just delete it. So I could delete it from here. Actually, I'm gonna do both of these. So I'm gonna click on this one just to prove the point and select delete, and it'll go away. And this should start syncing in just a second here, down in my OneDrive. Uh, app, so it'll actually delete it off of my computer as well because I have them synced. You may not, but I will. And I'm going to delete this test Delmi because I really don't know what that is either using my computer because that actually is on my computer. So I'm going to go to C, Users. And if you're a bit lost with this, by the way, don't worry about it. You can ignore this part. I'm just trying to prove the point that if you've got OneDrive set to sync up to your PC, that you can delete files off your PC and still get them back from the OneDrive recycle bin. So let's go into OneDrive. And there is my test Delmi. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to gun it. Right click, delete, right there. Bye, little fella. Now you can see there that just started to sync, right? Deleted from OneDrive. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now... I can go into, and you can see that there, well, this will, let's refresh this, and boom, you can see it's gone, okay? Now I can go to my recycle bin, and both of those files are, are, are there. So the one that I deleted straight out of OneDrive, it's there, and the other is uh, something I deleted off my desktop, and it's still there. So I'm gonna click on those two, and I'm gonna restore, and it's going to put them back right where they came from, right there. Okay, so that's the sort of lame way that most people have probably figured out already. The second way uh, to restore files is really useful if you've got somebody that's deleted a whole pile of files. You do not want to go through and select these one by one. And that is the restore function. Now the recycle bin, that works for everybody. The restore function only works for those people that are subscribed to the paid version of OneDrive, which is probably you if you're watching this, but perhaps not. Uh, so I, I will put that qualifier in there. So click the cog in the top left, top right hand corner and select restore your OneDrive. And in here, you can select a date. So let's go, let's just for the heck of it, pick on yesterday. And then you look at this and think, nah, yesterday's not enough. I've got a, I got, I lost a whole lot of stuff and I gotta go back to, let's go six days ago, right here, okay? And I can click this checkbox wherever I want, just click any of these and it'll select everything above it. There it is. And if I select restore, I will lose any edits I've made since the 24th at 2.04 p.m., which is five days ago in my case. That's really handy if you've had somebody accidentally delete or even maliciously delete a whole ton of stuff. So I will get back any edits that were made. It'll revert all of the files back. It'll do a full rollback, really, really slick. Now the caveat to, the, to both of these is if someone has gone into your recycle bin, so let's just go back here. So you can, I'm just gonna click cancel, there we go. Go back and say, if somebody's gone into your recycle bin and they've selected empty recycle bin, all of this stuff is gone. And 30 day restore thing, yeah, it just doesn't work. You, you can't go backwards and that's not very nice. But here's something that does work that you'll just love if you haven't seen it before and that's file versions. So let's look at this. I don't even know what this book, the, this book uh, is. It was probably just a report I was writing for somebody. 
I can mouse over this, this report, uh, these three dots at the end, click on it and select version history. And look, I've got three different versions of this document. Let's just for fun, open this one up. I'm gonna open this version. I'm not even gonna restore it. I'm just gonna open it. We'll see what it is together. Wants me to prove it's me, so I'll sign in. Okay, pretty cool. First version was empty. <laughs> okay, kind of useless, but okay, I guess that would be fair enough. That's the first version. Now I can go to the second version and I can open the file. Let's see what it looks like. All right. Oh, you can see there, that's quite a lot. So I've got test. <laughs> yeah, it's just junk. So there you have it. There's your three ways to readily restore files when you work with OneDrive. Hey, we'd really appreciate it if you'd click like below. Subscribe's also really appreciated. Very helpful for the Google algorithms. If you have a question or comment, just put it below. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.